Libby Goldstein and Junie Larry Johnson, casting directors for Yellow Jackets, a show that lots of people are obsessed with. And one aspect people can't get over is how well cast the show is between the young and older versions of the four main ladies. And I guess, how does it feel for fans to respond to your work this way in such like effusive praise for, you know, this, wow. Like some people think like, you know, it's like one person playing these roles sometimes. We've heard that. <laughs> yeah, we have heard that, particularly with uh, the Christina Ricci role. Yeah, and Sammy. Yeah. And Sammy, yeah, they really. Anyway, you know, it's been fun. It's really, you know, it's always fun to be part of a show that that resonates with some. I don't know if it resonates, but people jumped in on this and especially a certain age group, I think. So I think more than anything, we feel really good about the well, producers, Louie and I, everybody feel really good about what we did, but it's also just fun. You never know how anything's gonna turn out. And uh, it turned out really well. Mm -hmm. Libby, do you have anything to add or? <laughs> just gonna let her answer. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, <laughs> what she said. <laughs> But, um, but in that one thing Libby has said, uh, Libby will get going in a minute, but um, <laughs> when, we were, when we were casting these two different age, everyone says, you know, how'd you do it and who'd you cast first? And, you know, I will say our, when we started, we knew it was important that they, everybody have, but we weren't that they, you know, looked like the younger ones looked like the older ones, but we weren't trying to cast lookalikes. And even um, at the very end, the final result of it is so much better than I think even any of us thought. We knew there were similarities. We knew there was, they uh, had the same feel. Like I think um, Melanie Linsky and Sophie Nelise, Melanie Lisby always says Melanie Linsky was the first person we cast. Sophie Nelise was the last person we cast, like in the whole show. And that pairing couldn't have been better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so what was like those discussions like with uh, between you guys and the creators, Ashley Lyle and Bart Nickerson and um, the director, uh, Karen, uh, Karen uh, uh, for the, the pilot, like just finding, like you said, Melanie was cast first <laughs> and Sophie was last. And I, I, I mean, I guess you guys, you know, you said like you weren't focused on the physicality or, or the, the look alikeness, but were there times where you just, you know, had to like hold up like headshots to see like how oh, yeah. close they look i think i think my if my memory serves me um there were a couple of people towards the end when we were having trouble were talking about hair makeup and wardrobe and that you know we could fudge it that way because we really wanted to get the best actors as well we lucked out really that we have the best actors and they embody both the old and, and the young. But I think it was really important, really important for them to embody these young girls, the older actresses, because the audience is smart and you just can't put someone in a wig and you know dress them up and say, that's, that's her because it shows up so much in the show. It, it goes back and forth so much. I just don't think you can cheat the audience. So it, we got lucky and it was really, really important that you believed that that's who they were. Mm -hmm. um, was there uh, an instance where you cast the, the teenage version before the adult version? Oh, yeah, wow. there was. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Yeah. Well, first off, um, we cast Jasmine Savoy Brown. Yeah, before we did. Before we did um, Tawny. Mm -hmm. uh, they kind of were a little bit at the same time, but we saw all the parts at the same time, all the actresses. We didn't start with one and then try to match it up. Because we, when we start, you try to get, first off, the people that interest you the most, period, for each of these parts. And then... You, you do the mix and match. You, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, when, when you cast both like parts of the dual roles, did you have like both, both actresses in the same room ever? No. no, never, never. And this was right pre COVID. So we did do casting in the room with the producers, which is probably almost the second to last show we did that on. 
yeah. it was really fun. And I said, but you know, a lot of actors weren't in town. Like Sophie Nelise was on tape. Um, a lot of people. A lot of people were on tape, you know, and you just, from, from being in Canada or New York or out of town or wherever, well, especially, been, the, especially the young girls. The first well, time I mean, everyone saw each other was at the wreath throw. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, yeah, COVID, I guess. <laughs> Sophie Thatcher was, uh, yeah. I remember she read for a couple of parts, which I actually didn't even re remember until Libby and I were going back and looking at our notes, because when she put herself on tape for uh, the young Juliet Lewis part, she was just perfect. But Juliet Lewis was cast pretty late too. Yeah. Wasn't she? Mm -hmm. she was always in our mind, but, um, and Sammy Hanratty read for several parts, I believe. Yeah, she read for everything. <laughs> She was a great and, 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 and she she was a when did you realize she was like the right misty oh my gosh couldn't be better <laughs> she's yeah. she's so good people think it's christina ricci's i know i know okay someone in our office their boyfriend thinks it's <laughs> they he thought the whole time it was the same person <laughs> that just blows my mind so yeah uh, i mean that's, that's just a testament to how great of a job you guys did then so and i will say when they all went to canada which is the first time they had all really met each other and this was during covid and i think they had rehearsals and everything because you know the older they're never the, the young and the old are never in the scene at the same time right but they did i think that they did um they helped each other out just at the table reads and knowing it you know just with their aura and also the writers wrote these characters such that the, the younger and the older versions of them had a really strong through line of who they were. Yeah, they I mean, I guess this is more of a, a question for the actors, but the, the performances in both timelines for all four of them feel very in sync. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And that's part, part of that's, I mean, large part of that is what the, the writers did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, was there anyone uh, you guys saw that the two of you disagreed on for uh, like any reason? Oh, wow. <laughs> We never disagree. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's why you work together so well. I mean, but actually on this, uh, I think we were pretty in. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking at my little cheat sheet and uh, it was pretty clear. We saw some really great actors. Yeah, and we saw some that, yeah, that didn't get the part because they just didn't fit the, right. the group. But, uh, and I think it was one thing for us is really fun seeing the younger people because there was just so much talent in these young kids and they were young. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Was there anyone that you guys were really pushing for that you saw like, uh, yeah. yeah. Sophie yeah. Nelise. Sophie Nelise. We were the, the last one. She got yeah. cast like really late. Look, there was a visa problem, you know, that's how late it was. And uh, which I just found out about. And I didn't even know there was one. And that uh, we were really pushing for that hard. And you know, it's not, it's not like pushing against our cre the creative team, but just, they're just it has to go through a lot. It has to go through you know a lot of network studio. It's just a lot of pushing to do to get the deal to get the anyway. Yeah, I mean, not everybody a, a saw. Of not everybody saw that. Not everyone saw her. At, uh, as a, the right fit. Mm -hmm. And part of that was because they didn't think, I have to say, part of it was a few people didn't think she looked enough like Melanie, which when now- they, they had to dye her hair, right? Yeah. yeah. That did, yeah. Yeah. But I just think they're so she perfect. She embodies her so well. Yeah, that, sure. um, You know, we weren't looking, like Junie said, for lookalikes. We were just looking for the same souls, really. Mm -hmm. Um, well, lastly, uh, season two um, underway, uh, or, or I guess they're, they're writing it now, but um, obviously now fans are invested and they all have their takes on who you guys should cast for certain <laughs> adult characters um, in season two. And um, I guess like where you are, where are you guys in the process and do you guys take those, uh, you know, fan suggestions into account um, during, during this casting process? Well, first off, we haven't started yet, so uh, they're writing, and we are going to start, I think, in a couple of weeks. Um, I think I don't think we take it into account, but after we're kind of into it and looking at, 
I think we may we probably look online and look at it or our, the younger kids in our office do, but uh, I don't think there's, well, I haven't looked at them, so I don't even know who they're suggesting it. Do you, Lou? No. We try you, to you, don't want, you don't want to be influenced by them. <laughs> oh, no, no. And we well, started. You know, they might, you know, they might have a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're not opposed to it. We just haven't really, we don't really know that much. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't started. So until we, you know, hear what the producers are looking, you know, what the writers are saying and what they want and what their vision is for what's happening with these characters. We gotta, we gotta find out a lot of stuff before we uh, speak up. <laughs> For sure. Uh, well, it was great being with both of you. Thanks so much for your time. Um, and you guys get to stay on because okay. everyone is coming back. 